Hello, I'm JW, and this is a rather old and nasty fuse box. Uh, this is probably from the 1970s, and uh, these were fitted in there millions, literally, uh, during the 70s, 80s, and even well into the 1990s. This is a black one, although they came in various other colours, including white and cream, and there was a load of uh, grey metal ones as well. Now, if you've still got one of these, it's not necessarily unsafe, but it certainly could do with some upgrading or updating, and in most cases, uh, total replacement is the only option. Now, you might be tempted to upgrade it by fitting some of these in it. Now, these little uh, plug-in things uh, just replace the fuses inside, but actually buying these and putting them in is generally a complete waste of money and time. So let's have a look at why that actually is. Now, there's nothing particularly uh, dangerous or uh, unsafe about these. Uh, as long as you remember that this was designed sort of 40 or 50 years ago, when a lot of the features that modern instrument units have simply didn't exist. This particular one has the usual set of uh, four fuses in there, uh, 30 amps for the red and 5 amps for the white, 15 amps for the uh, blue one. Uh, the cover here astoundingly does actually have the uh, things marked inside. So we've got sockets, lights, that's the 5 amp one, cooker, 30, and uh, immersion or immersion heater, which would be the uh, 15 amp blue one at the end. Uh, this label would have said... Uh, unrestricted supply as it was on a uh, system which also had another one of these for the night storage heaters. Now these fuses just plug in and uh, there's the fuse wire inside. A very basic uh, form of protection but it still works and uh, you can still use them. And there's the uh, fuse element inside. All that happens there is if the circuit's overloaded that wire will heat up and eventually it will melt. If you short out the circuit, uh, what you get is many hundreds or even a couple of thousand amps flows, and that essentially destroys that wire pretty much instantly, and it disappears and you get molten copper spraying out of the ends, and generally you get burn marks along the bottom and the uh, top of the uh, box here. That's why it's always important to make sure the cover's fitted so that you don't have molten copper spraying out the top and the bottom. Now you can buy these things which do plug in in the same way that the fuses do. So uh, changing it for these is relatively simple. Simply take out the old uh, revolver fuse, change the uh, back plate piece here, and then this thing just plugs straight in. You can buy these uh, still brand new. They're sort of between uh, seven and 15 pounds each. You can also buy them on eBay in various states of uh, disrepair. I wouldn't bother uh, buying circuit breaks on eBay, quite frankly, because you never know where they've been or if they're fake or even if they're not, they uh, may or may not still work. But actually buying these and putting them in is really a waste of money, because these don't actually do anything that this fuse doesn't already do. These have two parts inside. Uh, there's a uh, bimetallic strip. And essentially as current passes through, this uh, heats up slightly. And when it heats up to a certain degree, it will cause the thing to uh, trip off. And of course, that's exactly the same as the fuse here, which uh, it's just a piece of wire that just heats up and obviously if the current is too large it heats up enough and it will melt through. So in that regard they're exactly the same. And for short circuits where you're going to get a very substantial current flowing, this system has a magnetic uh, coil inside and if the magnetic field reaches a certain level, again that will uh, cause the lever to trip off. So the only real benefit is that these can easily be reset just by uh, pressing the lever, whereas of course these you have to get out the fuse wire and uh, put a new piece in, which is a bit of a faff. But ultimately, how often do fuses actually blow? The answer should be pretty much never. If you're having to replace fuse wires in these things all the time, then there's some other serious problem. Putting this thing in is not going to help or make it any safer. It just means you can turn it on much more easily and quickly, and therefore probably cause extensive damage to the circuits or whatever the uh, fault is in the installation. So rather than uh, throwing away sort of anything from a sort of 40 to 70 pounds, depending on how big the, these things are. It's really not worth putting these in. You might as well just put the money towards a new consumer unit. The key difference is that a new consumer will have one of these in it, or possibly uh, well, at least two, really, with the new regulations. These things, uh, identified with the test button, these are the devices that actually uh, protect people rather than the cables and the wiring itself. Uh, this is called an RCD. They also have other names in other countries like GFCIs and other various uh, terms. But these are the ones that if somebody touches a live wire or essentially the uh, power goes to ground or earth somewhere it shouldn't, this will trip off and uh, at least uh, 
reduce the severity of the shock or the duration of it. Of course this fuse will do none of these things and neither will this. This uh, 15 amp fuse will allow well over 15 amps to flow for a very substantial amount of time. This thing here which is a 16 amp does the same thing. You could load this up to 16 amps and leave it there. It would just run all day long. So uh, there's no way of fitting the equivalent of these into this box. These require a two pole connection. This is just a single pole. So uh, again it's just really a complete waste of time. Uh, the other style of these ones which uh, are basically one of these and one of these combined into the same unit. Generally a better idea but again there's no way of fitting the equivalent of this into there so it's simply not possible to do it. Uh, the other problem with these ones is they have this wooden backing which uh, though is allowed at the moment, that's uh, when this has been recorded which is April 2014. Unfortunately uh, assuming the uh, new regulations come out next year as they are currently described this will no longer be permitted so uh, as it's a combustible covering. So if you have some of these and you were thinking about buying a load of these to replace them simply don't bother, it's a waste of time and money. Uh, these circuit breakers only do the same purpose as these things do, the only difference being that these can be reset very easily whereas of course these old fuses it's a bit of a bother to get the old fuse wire out and uh, re-thread it in there. But of course if fuses are blowing all the time then clearly there's a major problem with the installation. It doesn't matter what you've replaced it with, the problem's still going to be there, it's not going to go away and it's probably going to get much worse. So best save the money and put it towards a new consumer unit which will have uh, two or more of these uh, RCDs in there. If it's a quality installation it would have some of these in which are the uh, RCD and the circuit breaker combined. And these are the devices which you actually want because these are ones that uh, disconnect the power when they detect uh, an imbalance in the current such as when you've uh, touched a live wire at the end of your lawnmower lead you just chopped through or uh, you've poked a knife into the toaster and other kind of uh, silly things. These things don't protect you against that uh, and uh, really if you haven't got an RCD in your house it's a high time that you actually had one.